after uploading the video lecture on operation amplifier characteristics the video solutions to uh, some of the related uh, gate uh, problems uh, are considered and uh, here uh, we will consider three problems uh, which are related to the operation amplifier characteristics first one is uh, of gate 2002 on flow rate the second problem is again of gate 2002 it's on gain bandwidth product and the third one is on common mode rejection ratio so we start uh, with the first problem which is of gate 2002 and it is on the operation amplifier uh, slave rate properties of the operation amplifier uh, we will read out the problem here and uh, then uh, we will give a solution to this problem uh, it says that an amplifier using an op amp with a slew rate uh, of 1 volts per microsecond has gain of 40 dB if this amplifier has to faithfully amplify sinusoidal signals from DC to 20 kilohertz uh, without introducing any slew rate uh, distortion then the input signal level must not exceed and there are four options here so uh, in this problem uh, we have to uh, see uh, what we have been given here uh, uh, we are given here a slew rate which is 1 volt uh, per microseconds the gain of the amplifier is given and signal frequency is given which is from DC to 20 kilohertz and uh, the signal is sinusoidal in nature and the uh, range of the frequency of the signal is being given here and uh, we have to find the maximum input of the signal uh, uh, that can be applied uh, to this amplifier so that uh, one gets an output uh, which is not distorted due to uh, slew rate uh, distortion factor okay so uh, we start with the, this problem with uh, first we try to get uh, uh, from the gain which is 40 dB we want to find that what is the corresponding ratio uh, in of the gain it's a basically voltage gain the relation will be 20 log 10 AF this is 40 so AF comes to be 100 that means in terms of uh, ratios it is 100 that gain and now we notice here that input signal is uh, VN is VP sine omega T VP is the peak value of the signal and it's a sinusoidal signal and uh, V naught if uh, the gain uh, is indicated here which is uh, say of 100 so this will be V naught would be that gain AF into VP VP sin omega t now uh, to determine the slew rate we take uh, dV over dt uh, slope which is the uh, slope of the signal that is a sine wave signal and what is the maximum slope so we determine the maximum slope of the output so this is dv naught over dt maximum so this is a vp 2 pi f and we have taken the maximum value so cos omega t would be 1 so slew rate comes out to be a vp 2 pi f this is the slew rate and now once uh, we know this relation we can find the value of vp the peak input voltage that could be applied without the distortion uh, uh, due to slew rate uh, factor so VP is SR over A 2 pi F this is given as uh, slew rate is 1 over 1 volts per microsecond 10 per minus 6 into 100 is the gain and then 2 pi f is the frequency we are considering here the highest frequency that is 20 
kilohertz is the highest frequency here so that has been taken here so after simplification we get uh, this factor to be 79.5 millivolts that means this is the value of the input uh, uh, signal peak that can be applied safely so that the signal is not distorted due to the slew rate distortion in the amplifier. So option C here is the correct choice in this problem.